What's up everybody, Peter Martin here. Welcome to my first ever unboxing. I'm super excited to do this because I'm a pianist and we don't get to unbox pianos very often because they don't come in boxes. But what I am unboxing today is the Maurizio piano mount that goes inside of the piano. Now I've been looking for a way to, to make this look better um, aesthetically and just all this cabling and the microphone stands and they're always on the verge of tipping over. So what the Maurizio piano mount does is a much more elegant way um, of sitting inside the piano. Now I've experienced uh, this mount uh, in traveling on the road over the last few years in some great venues so I've kind of known about it. And the good folks at Maurizio sent me over this unit. Now, um, they're not paying me to review this. This is not sponsored. They're not going to get a chance to see or approve this video review uh, before I post it. So uh, let's get inside the box. So it's just a plain white box. Um, what can I say? It's got their nice little logo here. I love that. Cool little thing. And. Um, you know, it's light. That's the first thing. I've seen these sitting in the piano and um, before, and I know they're made out of metal, but I'm shocked at how light this is. So interesting to see what the quality is here. It is surrounded in bubble wrap, which I love because it's safe, and I can sit there doing this all day, but I won't bore you with that. Okay, so the mount is, is really securely packed, uh, very simple, very elegant. Of course, it's black, which is going to match. This Bosendorfer, great, but should match a lot of different pianos. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's light, but it's, it's secure. I'm already feeling here some felt, which I'm assuming is where it's going to rest on the piano. Of course, with something like this, anything that you're attaching uh, to your beloved instrument, to your grand piano, uh, be it a Steinway, a Bosendorfer, Fazioli, Yamaha, whatever it is, um, you know, we're always reticent to have metal touching to have anything touch it, you know, and that's part of my problem with this setup is the mic stands and the mics aren't touching, but because things get moved around in here, you know, I'm always nervous it's going to scuff it up or something. So this is going to actually be attached in some way that we're going to learn about now, but I'm loving this felt because um, I'm assuming that's the part that's going to actually touch. Okay, so let's get this unit going in the Bosendorfer. Let's see what we have here. This is the mic mount, as you can see here, protected here. So that's where the mic is going to go, and then I'm assuming this is going to go in here. We're going to save this. I saw in Maurizio's video, this is important later on for the mic cables. Same thing here. So it's going to replace these two mics. So I've made note of the pattern because I like the way this sounds. I like the physical uh, distance here. So we're going to try to keep that going. All right. So this extends out. These both loosen up a little bit. And then that turns. And we're going to get the length correct to set in here. But first, we need to dismantle the current mics. I got the old mics out and I even got the same pattern kind of set up here that I'm going to want to have. So I saved that to try to get in position. And then you take the uh, piano mount and this just slides. You can loosen these up a little bit here. And I've got one, one of the uh, mic attachments in there. And then the felt is on the bottom, which is great. Now, with the Bosendorfer, because of how the frame is, there's not a lot of flexibility that I can tell where to put it because it hits. But actually, I want to have the mics up here, so that's going to work fine for me. I'm good with that. So you extend these out carefully, and they just rest right down the edges. You've got this nice felt, so it's safe, all good. You can adjust that, make sure it's, it's straight. 
and it's nothing's bolted on. It's just, it's secure, you know? I mean, believe me, I love this thing. So uh, the fact that I'm putting anything in there, but you know, when you have mics and stuff, they can fall and the stands can go down even if you have sandbags. So I, I think this is gonna be a great solution. Okay, once you have this position where you want it, you just wanna make sure that it's perpendicular, that it's secure. These adjust in case you're further down. I'm not doing anything down there because that's not where I want the mics. So I've got it, you know, in the general area here. And then you can take these two and very carefully tighten them so the thing doesn't collapse. Once they're tight, it's in there pretty good, right? And then this is where my mics are gonna go on, this sliding one here. All right, so I've got my mics pretty much already in position. This is my own bracket here that I took from my other situation. If you wanna put just individual mics in there, it's actually a lot easier, but I like having this pattern. This has been working pretty well. So this is basically just a mic, threaded mic adapter here. And so really what's gonna happen is this is just gonna go here. It's gonna set in there. And you know, that's the position. Then I just have to figure out the mic cables. Okay, so when you get your mic cables going, um, I see why they said save the Velcro, because that's going to secure them here. But basically, I'm just going to input there and there, and we're going to be good to go. So basically, I've got it set up here. I've got the cabling going, just the little Velcro ties. This whole thing still can lift off if needed. But uh, I like it. I've got this position, it's secure. I'm gonna tighten it up a little more once I'm sure about the position. Much more elegant look, I think, you know? the cables coming in and all that still some stuff there but getting a better sound better look so I like it I'm gonna give a thumbs up to the Maurizio microphone mount you know when you're playing the piano you're gonna be looking at this thing a lot I already like the way it looks better than it did before so that's my first unboxing hope you enjoyed peace